Good morning. I hope you've done your morning routines, whatever it may be. I hope it covered your health and your mental, your emotional, and your spiritual. It's quite a lot, but it's always good to, you know, get all those bases covered. I still need to do my meditation, so as soon as I get to work, I will be putting in my lovely meditation. Uh, Today I just wanted to share uh, a small tidbit, yet one of the most important thoughts you can have in your mind, which is uh, empowerment. When someone starts a business, You need to empower your own self before relying on buying the best computer to do work or uh, finding employees or uh, partners to work with or finding funding. The most important part is always the bottom up. What does that mean? Bottom up, you have to empower yourself internally and know that the answer is within you, right? So I'm not saying if you're trying to create the next flying car that the answer is within you. That's not what I'm saying. But you need to be empowered to be able to find the resources to get to your goals. And of course, if the goal is a more... Uh, inspiring one the more inspiring it is it's definitely a lot more helpful but you always want to empower yourself right when you empower yourself you can empower others so as um, Gandhi said you know you got to be the change that you want to see in the world And thus, uh, for me and my business, I really consider the bottom-up approach where I need to work on myself. The better version that I am, then I am able to share that with my employees and in turn, the employees or our team, as I call them, we're a team, is able, they're able to produce at a higher level, a higher quality, right? And then, what does that mean? It passes on to our customers that receive our product. And if the customers, they may smile when they get the product, they may not smile, right? But we're aiming for that smile. And If they didn't smile, customer service will take care of that and we will do our best to uh, give the best experience to our customers, right? So our customers will give them a smile and maybe that day, maybe a few weeks after, they're enjoying the products we sent them. And because of that, maybe that even tiny bit will transfer over to people around them, right? So it's also kind of like the butterfly theory where, you know, you, a butterfly flaps its wing in China, wings in China and then a hurricane storm happens elsewhere in the world. Um, and we want to push that positivity into the world. So let's say I have 100 units of positivity that I can give to someone in the day. That's a nice car, McLaren. Um, so let me get back to it Uh, let's say I do have 100 units of positivity and there's only so much positivity that can be transferred over right Um, because things are not that efficient or I I just may not be that efficient yet I'm working on it so let's say to I interact with one of our teammates 
and I'm able to transfer over 50%, so sorry, 50 units of positivity. And then the team member, as they're packaging the product, maybe they can put in 20, 30% or units, 20 or 30 units of positivity into their work. And then the product, once the customer receives it, maybe they do get 10%. So, or sorry, 10, 10 units of the positivity. And then that small smile, maybe they carry seven units, five units during the day. Or maybe it can increase. Maybe it's another 20 units because they really lo love it, um, love the product, and it jumps up. Maybe it's 30 units. Let's just uh, say it's back to 50 units. And then they can send that energy, the, the smile, to people around them, friends, families, work, coworkers. And then, as you can see, these units of positivity can be transferred. What does that mean? Does that mean that I lose 50 because I gave 50 units of positivity? No, no, that's not the case. It's actually even more um, because I enjoy uh, improving the lives of others, even if it's that small smile. So maybe I gain another 10 or 20 units. So it's, it's a virtual cycle, right? And so you want to empower yourself to be able to... Um, I was talking about this in terms of positivity, but no, you know, if you're growing a business, there's a, a many other things that you got to do, right? And you got to empower yourself and not rely on uh, external factors as much in order to get your tasks done. For example, if there's something very difficult that you need to do, you need to empower yourself and tell yourself, this is something I can do. I can do this. And if it's a, a strong emotion, you tell yourself, this too will pass. So, again, uh, try installing this into your computer brain, brain computer, into your brain, and feel it in your heart, and empower yourself. So that's my share for the day. Let me know what you think about it. Make sure you subscribe so I can keep continue, continue, uh, continuing my journey into helping you guys and helping myself uh, become better versions of ourselves. Again, best of luck. Good vibes sent your way.